Jamil here, the Barefoot Queen is back. And today is video five called New Energy from the series Breaking Up with the Ugly. So as if you have been following the videos in the series, number one was about unpacking, number two was about forgiving, number three was about gratitude, four was crafting your vision for the future, and then number five today is new energy. So what do I mean by new energy? So now that we got rid of a lot of ugly feelings and um, we know where we want to head, how do we keep our energy positive and going? Because here's the thing, and this is why all that work that we did is so important. And by the way, another name for the work that we did in the previous days was called shadow work, which is technically working with our challenges, you know, our ugly stuff going on inside, okay? Um, but, you know, and it doesn't matter how you do it. If you follow my process, there's other people giving other processes on YouTube and whatnot. But basically, it's shadow work, you know, and, and just when you keep asking yourself about these feelings and trying to find the source and clearing it out so that you can allow brand new good stuff in your life. And it's going to transform how you see that challenge or that painful situation in your life where you can actually even talk about it and not start crying. Maybe you did, you know, did that. That happened to me. Um, I was finally able to talk, you know, about... Um, stuff that was painful without start bawling and crying before I couldn't do that. You know, it was, it was different. I was able to separate myself from that situation. It just frees you. It's completely freeing. So if you have not watched those videos, I suggest you go back and do that and do the work. It may take you a few days, but I promise you, and it's going to make you feel like crap, but I promise you by the third day, by the third video, it's going to be amazing. You're going to feel free and you're going to thank me. I hope in the comments. Okay. Alrighty. So now new energy. So here's what I do to stay within new energy, good energy, you know, sleep. It does more than just refresh the body. It actually resets the brain. So, um, it's funny how they, people say, don't go to bed angry. And um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I that never really worked with me and my my husband. I um, we would go to bed angry, and I think the the next day we were like because our brain reset. And maybe I'm wrong. And if you don't recommend it, please give me examples why it's not a good thing. To you know why I I personally didn't work for us. Um, it, you know, we would go to bed angry and then we did have a bad habit and I'm going to, I mean, I'm, I'm just honest and I share my own bullshit because, you know, what's the point of trying to motivate people if I don't work on myself at the same time. And I do, I don't want you guys to think that because I'm here, I'm perfect. I'm not, I'm still learning. I'm still growing. All right. So I do think that we tended not to unpack the issues. Um, we both did a horrible job about addressing with the issues and peeling out the actual layers so that we could figure out why what was happening was affecting us. And so, you know, and that's something that I've had issues with, to be honest. And it's something that that's why I'm working so hard on myself because um, I am taking responsibility for that part of it because I know that I have a hard time expressing my feelings because I feel that I'm going to be shut down. And that's something that I have to deal with because if he shuts me down, that's really on him. But it just makes me feel so frustrated. So anyway... I, that's something I have to work on, obviously. So that's actually going to be my next shadow work that I'm going to do. Uh, I am going to go through those steps. And hopefully I can come back and talk about relationships and maybe have a aha moment that I can share with you guys. But um, but the new energy, uh, you need to harness it, your energy from the morning. Okay? Um, 
it is so important that when we wake up in the morning, we're not rushing through the day. But what I'm finding, the number one piece robber of our day is our cell phones. And I'm sure you probably agree and you'll be like, well, you know, um, and I know because I have that same issue where I will go through, I'll grab the phone from the moment that the alarm goes off and I'll start scrolling through Facebook. Why do I do that? And before I know it, oh, God damn it, I have to go get the girls, get them to wake up, you know, and I have all this data and information in my head. And to be honest, none of it matters. Like none of it is important you know or if it's instagram or TikTok, whatever it is that you do that you grab your phone and that's the first thing that you look at maybe it's the news is it so important to have it there at that time like why do we bombard ourselves with so much information that doesn't matter early in the morning and this is why i'm telling you this is so important in the early morning and in the nighttime is when we're about to go to bed, when we're in that stage that we're like almost sleeping, but you know, we're kind of leaning towards sleeping. That's when we know we're closer. That's when we're closer to our subconscious. So you may or may not know that we have conscious, you know, which is us speaking, it's, you know, interacting, what we can see with our eyes, it's what happens here. Uh, and then the subconscious is that part of us that some people call it higher self. There's many names for it, but it's technically that part of us that knows better than we do. Our intuition, our, you know, our higher self it's, it's technically who we really are. So our conscious is not who we really are. It's our response to the environment, the situations and our feelings subconscious is the part of us that has all the answers that absolutely have all the answers example when you're studying math and you're studying and reviewing and reading and reading and reading you're trying to program your subconscious with the material so that when you're in front of the test it's there you can access it right in your library so it, it, your subconscious like your library it knows what you need to do it knows what you did it knows all the stuff even the stuff of the childhood that you don't remember it you know you may one moment have something that triggers you and you're like whoa where did that came from and it's because something that happened to you as a child or something you witnessed as a child that you don't remember so your subconscious has all the answers by grabbing the phone or even turning on the news early in the morning, we're bombarding our brain and, and our subconscious with material that is gonna set our day. So as you set your day that way, your day will be at the mercy of that information, situations and actions of other people. So, and this is something that I'm actually doing now is that I'm not going to be charging my phone anymore next to my bed. I'm going to put it in this corner over here so that the action of moving away to turn off the alarm, because I do have to wake up very early because of the girls, um, I will be able to just the fact that I'm getting out of bed, it's going to number one, get me out of bed instead of laying there scrolling and I'm going to put the phone here and I'm going to just turn it off turn it back down and then that's it now what are you doing that void okay you're going to now have 5 10 15 minutes of time so now what I'm gonna do is that I am going to number one read my my script and if you watch the last video you know about crafting your, your new you know life um, and I will you know read my the letter, the letter the scripting letter which is a letter that I basically you can write it to your mom you can write it to Oprah you can write it to whoever and you basically write about I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm earning blah 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 and easily I love how now I can have good have good clients I would suggest you go back to the last video because I kind of go through that I'm not gonna read my whole letter but I have it on my journal here 
and um you know and, and i go through all that and then i thank you thank you thank you i meditate i have the feelings of having all my dreams come true all the things that i put in here and then um and then i put music to me music is very healing i love to listen to gospel as i'm getting ready or um, some kind of weird music so i love to listen to music like either middle eastern music or samba you know from brazil and just stuff that i don't understand the language i don't know if it's a hard you know but i want upbeat sounds upbeat music uh stuff that definitely gets my spirit happy and joyful and you know maybe you want to listen to some jazz maybe you want to listen to some you know french music find something that inspires inspires you something different um i highly suggest you do something a tiny bit different every day challenge your brain challenge your brain so that you can as you get unstuck in certain areas you're going to get unstuck in so many more you know you're going to start manifesting things and you're going to start you know looking at things differently so um i highly recommend that you know that you listen to something strange something weird something you never listened to um you know and just kind of start writing you know we we all want to change we want to change you know how much money we make we want to change how our business is going we want to change you know we, we want something new we want something extra right and to me the only way to do that is when you you know do something different and and sometimes the the doing something different is as, as easy as not scrolling facebook in the freaking morning or instagram or tiktok or whatever your choice is sometimes that's all it takes you know and another thing about new energy another extremely extremely important thing is and it's to me very difficult to do but it is absolutely doable is keeping the negative people at bay and there are sometimes people in our life that all they talk about are issues and problems and you say, oh, and poor me and oh, and this and that. And, you know, and, and, and it's, it's sometimes in Spanish, there's a saying, te diré, dime con quien andas y te diré quien eres. That means that tell me who you're hanging out with and I'll tell you who you are. And it's not so much if they're delinquents or not. I mean, obviously, when we were children, that's probably what my mom meant. And <laughs> I don't hang out with delinquents. But to me, it's also about the positive energy that they bring to their life and your life. You know, if these are very negative people, you're going to end up gloom doom as well. Um, and it's okay to tell someone you love, hey, honey, can you... Can we not talk about that again? You know, because usually people like that will repeat the same issue over and over again. Every time you pick up the phone or they pick up the phone to call you to complain about something related to the same issue. So you think, can we just not go there? I mean, we're not gonna solve the problem. We haven't solved it. So can we just talk about something good, you know, instead? And because you can change people, but you, have control over your environment and what you allow in your aura in your space you know if it's um and that's why in even social media if you belong to a lot of groups that are just like a rabbit hole you know of stuff and negativity i would suggest you leave them you know even if it's for a break even if you take a break just Try to stay, protect your energy because your energy is your currency. People think that money is currency. Money is energy, but our energy, our spirit, our aura needs to be protected from people and circumstances that are not good for us. You know, if you watch the news for two hours a day, I suggest you cut that back. I really do. If you, you know, anything that's bringing you negativity, even music, 
if the music that you're listening to is about heartbreak and you know uh, you know my dog died and the truck won't start and about lack and all that i suggest you change that channel <laughs> you know you don't want that you want high vibration music you want happy music you want happy feelings you want happy thoughts you know and the next thing that i want to suggest to is that you pick up books that will build your faith you know if the bible because the bible to me it's an amazing one of the best books if the best book i mean it is the the bible right the book of life if the bible is too complicated for you because some people it's just they're not going to touch it and i am not going to criticize people for not doing that find other books and at least read 10 pages a day or a chapter a day for you or if that's too much for you if you won't pick up a book listen to a good podcast you know there's so many out there that are fantastic po podcasts one of my favorite ones um it's uh, mel i can't remember her her last name but um she is just phenomenal and um Rob robbins i think let me see i'll put it on the on the comment let me see because i just uh, let's see. Hold on, I'll tell you her name right now. Robbins, yes, Mel Robbins. Um, you know, she's amazing. She has a show. I think she has a TV show now, and and she and she has a great YouTube channel. And you know, now I will probably put it um, on my recommend some of the videos on my feed on on YouTube. You know listen to good stuff listen to people that give you ideas and and have a format that you enjoy and you like you know fill your 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 stuff with positivity and hope you know you you have a choice you know at, at this point if you did the work in the in the, the whole series and you unpack the ugly and you looked at it and you you know figured it out and then you for you forgive yourself or others and you did gratitude you know, you did all these things and you no longer carry that baggage, it's time to not pick up baggage from society or the government or any other of that sort. You know, it's time that you you continue light and stay light, you know, and have stuff that truly builds up your faith, builds up your hope, you know, builds builds you up so that you can be the light you can be the shine you can be the leader you know in your company in your organization you know if, if you do mlm i suggest you tell your your people to go through these trainings you know through these videos and and truly start unpacking because a lot of times what happens is that you know we have stories we have stories that we haven't broken up with you know and one of the things that we can do use this shadow work for is to actually discover our money things and our money issues you know if you're angry that you're not making money in your business you know that's something you can unpack and you can go through and you can go okay what was i feel ugly about this why if you know why i'm not talking to people you know or why the people are rejecting me or what you know you can go through all this you know until you can forgive them forgive yourself for not giving your hundred if you didn't you know and then go with gratitude because now you have the lesson now you know what you need to do now you know what you need to let go so there's so much potential in you absolutely and i see it absolutely i see it so you know i give you a hundred a hundred hugs for going through this if you've gone through the whole system the whole series i truly hope that it helped you and now the next video i'm going to share what's coming next uh, the different ways that i have used this process i'm going to share some very personal things um that i haven't shared yet and um and you know we'll talk i'll talk to you about what's next what's coming um what i'm going to be having available and uh and i can't wait to see you in the next video and i can't wait to see what you've done with your life okay Mwah. 
I love you and I see you on the next video. Bye.